Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today, we'll learn how to shape your beard with care. Now, let's begin. Do you look in the mirror and wonder what it would be like to grow the perfect beard? Many people want to grow their facial hair, but some don't easily achieve their beard goals. So many give up after a few days because they just don't like how it looks or they aren't happy with their progress. Unfortunately, growing a thick, even beard just doesn't happen overnight. As many of you already know, it's not as simple as just letting your hair grow, though that is an important part of the process. The truth is that growing a beard will require maintenance and care. So where do you start? In this video, we're going to talk about steps and tips and techniques that you can use to grow your beard and to keep it looking great. Today, you may be clean-shaven or wearing patchy stubble, but good grooming strategies can breathe new life into your facial hair, helping you to cultivate a full, well-maintained beard in time. A beard doesn't have to be something that you dream about. If you make a commitment to your beard, you can begin your journey and love the way that your facial hair looks. Now, before you start shaping and styling, there's an important question that you need to ask yourself. Why do you want to grow a beard? What does growing a beard mean to you? Beards are much more than a fashion statement. Growing a beard can have a profound impact on your health and well-being, often in ways that people don't expect. For many people with beards, their facial hair is something they love about themselves. Taking pride in your self-expression can be an important part of approaching the world with confidence. There are many situations that we face every day where we feel judged and looked at by others. We might feel doubt and lose faith in ourselves, but if you can cultivate an authentic and positive self-expression, then the opinions of others will just bounce off you like pebbles against a suit of armor. As you begin your beard journey, get comfortable with your unique characteristics. Whether your hair is light or dark, thick or thin, be willing to work with what you've got. The first step toward growing a beard with care is probably the most obvious. To grow a beard, you need to stop shaving. If you don't let your hair grow long, then you'll never have the beard you want. It's as simple as that. Many people hear this and immediately ask the same question, how long should I wait? This isn't an exact science, because everyone's hair grows at different rates. Some people can grow a modest beard in a few weeks, while others need a few months or more. Assuming that your hair grows at an average speed, then give yourself at least four to six weeks of unchecked growth. You've probably heard the myth that shaving your beard will help it grow back faster, thicker, or bushier. As far as we know, that isn't true. There's little to no evidence to support the idea that shaving your beard promotes new hair growth. So put away your razor and just let it grow. This part of the process, it can be frustrating. Many mornings you'll be tempted to shave everything off. Your beard may look patchy and unkempt, but that's how it's supposed to look at this stage. Each time you consider using that razor, just remember that beard growth is a long process, and you've committed to seeing it through to the end. So instead of focusing on how your beard looks right now, just think about how you can promote a better beard down the road. For example, your sleep may not seem like it impacts your facial hair, but sleep deprivation is known to inhibit beard hair growth. Keeping yourself physically and psychologically healthy not only makes you feel better, but it's great for your beard. In addition to maintaining your health, you might also experiment with a beard care routine. Even if your facial hair is short and patchy, you can start cleaning your beard with shampoos and creams that strengthen your hair follicles and prevent ingrown hairs. Cleaning your facial hair also cleans your pores and removes oil building around your jawline, thus reducing the risk of painful pimples. Many of these products not only clean your hair, but cultivate new growth. Each hair follicle on your face undergoes a three-stage growth cycle. Several factors like stress and hormone levels can interfere with that growth cycle, slowing the growth of your beard to a crashing halt. But a few nurturing products can make all the difference. For example, growth-inducing serums and ointments can restart or accelerate growth while keeping your follicles strong and healthy. After at least four to six weeks, your facial hair will hopefully grow long enough to resemble a short and messy beard. Your facial hair may not be entirely even across your face, but don't worry, that's very normal. Either way, at this stage, it's time to guide your facial hair for future growth. 
Over the last several weeks, your hair has probably grown down your neck and up your cheeks and maybe even around your ears. So, spend a few minutes defining the shape of your beard. Make clean lines under your jaw and around your ears so that your hair keeps growing where you want it to grow. Unless your facial hair grows exceptionally fast, you're probably not ready to start experimenting with styles just yet. Instead, choose a long setting on your trimmer and just trim down the longest, wiriest hairs on your face. Once your beard starts to look even and clear, then you'll be glad you let your hair grow as long as you did. You may already begin to see huge improvements. What looked like a scraggly mess, well, it may start to resemble the beard you imagined. If you don't own some, then quality grooming equipment can be a great long-term investment for people committed to growing their facial hair. The right tools can significantly improve your grooming routine and keep your beard cleaner and sharper. For example, trimmers with multiple settings allow you to experiment more with lengths and styles, all without cutting your face or interfering with new growth. Alongside razors and trimmers, aftercare products can make your beard easier to groom and style down the road. Balms and oils, for example, keep your hair soft while hydrating your skin and preventing painful irritation. After you've grown out your hair and purchased the right tools, you may be ready to experiment and style your beard. For many men, beards are the centerpiece of their personal aesthetic. Growing a beard is an opportunity to express your creativity and to show off your individual style. Whether you play it safe or you experiment with new bold looks, let your facial hair reflect you as a person. Even if you use all the tips in this video, your facial hair still may not grow the way you want. You might notice small patches along your jawline or bald spots under your chin. If you do, don't panic. There are affordable products that you can use to treat patches and other common beard growth issues. For example, hair growth serums like minoxidil are designed to combat hair loss by stimulating the regular growth cycle of your facial hair. Applying these serums regularly may help your hair grow quicker and stronger, leading to better long-term growth and a fuller-looking beard. Many people have reported positive results with growth serums like minoxidil. This particular serum has become a go-to hair loss solution and stands as one of the only FDA-approved hair growth treatments. Another popular option for people struggling with facial hair growth is called derma rolling or microneedling. This minimally invasive solution uses a roller covered in small needles to pierce the outer layer of your skin and, in the process, stimulate the production of collagen. This useful protein is made of several important amino acids, which not only improve the health of your skin, but also stimulate hair growth. If you want to try derma rolling yourself, here are a few tips to get you started. First, look for a derma roller with a small number of needles as too many needles can irritate or damage your skin. As you move the roller across your cheeks and jawline, experts recommend moving in horizontal, vertical, and diagonal lines. That way, you can evenly treat your entire beard area without missing any spots or patches. Don't be discouraged if you don't see immediate results. For derma rolling and growth serums, it can take weeks or months before you notice significant improvements in the length of your facial hair. To speed up the process, you may use these growth solutions in combination with positive lifestyle choices, like a healthy diet and regular exercise. Robust scientific evidence suggests that these treatments can be highly effective for stimulating hair growth on your face and even on your head. However, before starting any of the above routines, make sure to consult with a healthcare professional to make sure it's the right path for you. Ultimately, growing a beard is a journey. It takes hard work and regular care. There will be days when you don't like how your beard looks. You may look in the mirror and think about shaving your face clean. But this journey can have an incredibly positive impact on you, your confidence, and your style. In fact, the challenges of growing a beard make this process even more rewarding. So, if you've been dreaming of that ideal beard, manicured, bushy, and bold, it's time to realize your vision. Make a commitment to yourself. Growing out your facial hair might seem like a distant goal, but with time, effort, and care, you can grow a beard that you love. Thank you for watching Top Think, and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.